to my channel. If you're new to Celestial Forecast, hi guys, thank you for tuning in. And to my regular subscribers, welcome back. This is your second half of October Romance Angels reading, um, October 16th through the 31st, guys. And um, we're going to start off with our intuitive messages from the angels, as always. Um, general, as always, won't resonate with everyone, so please take what resonates and just leave the rest behind. A few announcements before I begin. Um, I just wanted to take this time to thank those of you who have booked readings with me, as well as uh, donating to the channel. I just really, truly appreciate it, guys. You have no idea how much it means to me, so thank you very much. And I'm now also on Instant Go, so please follow me there if you're interested in booking a mini reading. I respond fairly quickly. So if time is of the essence in regard to a situation, you can absolutely reach me through Instant Go and you'll get a response very quickly. And um, please take advantage of my current promotion uh, through November 1st. So when booking a rush reading, please mention code Angel Wings. And what that will in entail you to is um, to get your rush reading without having to pay for the rush reading price. Okay, so it's about a $50 saving, so please take advantage of that, and it's available through um, November 1st. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start with your intuitive messages from the angels, so give me a few seconds, Capricorn, to clear the energies and receive the messages on your behalf, and then we'll go ahead and follow through with our Romance Angels deck and grab some more messages for you guys for the second half of October. All right, guys, so here we go. Angels, please bring forth your messages for Capricorn at this time. What messages can you share at this time? Well, Capricorn, the angels are coming through with a message to let me know that you are blessed. That's huge. You're blessed. And I'm feeling that this is coming through for those of you who really have had struggles in life. I'm feeling for the past couple years, it's been tough. But the angels are watching out for you. And they are telling me that you're blessed and that the road heading into the future will be a lot smoother. They're coming through with a very specific message that some of you guys have really had tremendous challenges and actually were very close to being homeless, if not homeless. For some of you guys, you, you know what it's like to be out on the street. Money has been tight. Life has been one struggle after the other. I am picking up energies from the angels that some of you guys have had to deal with addictions, drugs, alcohol, and it's been rough. They're telling me also that you know what you need to do, but that you just have not taken that first step to get it done, Capricorn. They're telling you that it's time. No more procrastinating. Tomorrow is today. Take that first step and change your life. It's time. They're telling me that love will find you when you are ready to receive love from someone else. They are telling me, Capricorn, that you need to do some work as far as loving yourself first. Life has been challenging because you have not believed in yourself or loved yourself enough to put yourself into a better place and to make better decisions coming from a place of love. They're telling me that you have been self-sabotaging your success for quite a few years. They're telling me that the time is now to make those changes, Capricorn. It's time. They're picking up off of energies for some of you guys that you, you've been lonely. 
but there's absolutely no need because you are actually surrounded by a very supportive group of family and friends. You just need to reach out. Stop trying to deal with everything on your own and rely on your support system. Angels are letting me know that your prayers have been answered, Capricorn, but you need to learn to listen. The answers are right in front of you. The blessings are right in front of you. You're actually surrounded by blessings. You need to simply acknowledge their presence. You're not alone is what they're telling me. They keep repeating the words, love will find you, love will find you, and that you are not alone. So whoever is resonating with that, please know that you're not alone and that you're loved. There's absolutely no need to be tackling the challenges of life all alone. You've got your support system, Capricorn. So lift up your head and realize that you have so many blessings in your life. You simply need to open your eyes and see them. They're showing me a lemon tree. So perhaps some of you guys have a lemon tree in the backyard or you love lemons or whatever significance that may have to you um, for a small group of you. They're showing me a lemon tree. So if someone is tuning in at this time and you're resonating with this and or you love lemon, the flavor of lemon, it's picking up off of your energy. Angels are letting me know that there are messages that will be coming through here today that you need to hear. So thank you for tuning in. All right, Capricorn, those are my messages for you guys this second half of October. Wow, some pretty insightful messages that came through for you guys. So I hope whoever that came through for, that you know that it was absolutely meant for you. All right, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and with your Romance Angels portion of your reading. And let's see what messages the angels can share at this time. So angels, please bring forth your messages for Capricorn. Second half of October. 16 through the 31st. Please bring them forward. They're showing me the number seven, guys. If that's significant for some of you, it's picking up off of your presence here. The angels are acknowledging your presence if the number seven resonates with you. And what I mean by resonates is there's no question. Like that may very well be your favorite number. Perhaps it's your birthday, your anniversary. Perhaps that's how many children you've got. It's it's significant, okay? So you, you wouldn't have to like try to figure out if it's significant to you. You will know right away what they mean. All right, Capricorn, what's going on in love? Let's see where we're at. Oh, this is the root of your situation, Capricorn. You're either married, engaged, or in a connection where you truly see a future with that person by way of marriage. What's crossing the situation is this engagement. Hmm. Why is that crossing you, Capricorn? Let's find out. The basis of the situation is you're calling in your soulmate. Past position, however, we do have unrequited love. Presently, the angels are asking you to stay optimistic about your love life. And in the future, you've got true love coming in for you, Cap. You've got true love. Power of the situation is there has to be forgiving and learning. So let's do a little bit of digging and find out what that's about. There's a definite marriage that's being addressed here. This is the, how others see you guys. It's a married couple. Hopes and fears. We've got some family issues that need to be dealt with. But the outcome, guys, look at that. Look at your outcome. You found your soulmate. You found your person. Bottom card, you're headed for a honeymoon, Capricorn. Wow. Okay. I almost don't even have to 
do this reading because we already know some of y'all are going to get married. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's let me see what why this engagement is crossing you guys. Okay, so as I had mentioned, let's start off with the root of the situation is this wedding card. So, several scenarios coming through. Either you are already married to your soulmate or you are engaged to your soulmate or it's a broken engagement, okay? Or you're in a connection, Capricorn, where you really see yourself marrying this person that you're with. So let's start off with the prominent message coming through here, which is I'm feeling a broken engagement. Okay, this is crossing you. So I really feel, whoever this is resonating with, Capricorn, that you really love this person and you really do see a future with this individual. Um, there was a proposal that was accepted, but for whatever reason, this engagement was short-lived. Why is that? Okay, mm they just told me. Angels just told me that you were engaged to someone that you absolutely did love, Capricorn, yes, but you were not in love with them because they were not your soulmate. You're still calling them in, whoever this is coming through for. You were engaged to someone, but you freaked out or you really felt that you know, I really shouldn't be engaged to this individual because they are not the one that I love. I'm feeling that you've made a soulmate connection in the past, Capricorn. You're not with them currently. You want them back. And that's why you're still praying about this person, thinking about this person, doing your visualizations, dreaming about them. You want them back. You want them back, Capricorn. And regardless of however many scenarios came through, this is the most prominent one, a broken engagement because you felt that you were settling for someone other than who you were meant to be with, Capricorn. Yeah, you want this person back. You've got this unrequited love that came through here. So you were in a connection in the past where there definitely wasn't enough attraction or chemistry to sustain that relationship. So you know what it's like to be in a connection where it's lopsided. But you also made that soulmate connection and you've been thinking about it. You've almost been obsessed about a Capricorn, but I'm feeling that you guys are not currently together. And you really do see yourself marrying this individual. If they were back in your life, you wouldn't hesitate to want to propose or want them in your life by way of a proposal, an engagement. You really do see this honeymoon coming through for you with this individual. For those of you, separate message, for those of you who are engaged currently, this is crossing you because you have to really get real about the situation because this is telling me that you're engaged to someone that you're settling for, Capricorn. Because you're missing your soulmate is what they're telling me. It's like, yeah, you see this honeymoon in the future, but not to the person you're engaged with. Yep. Separate message coming through for those of you who are married and you're having challenges in your marriage and you've been having doubts lately to where you wonder, should I have married this person? Should I have accepted that engagement to begin with? Because you're not happy. And you guys are definitely experiencing unrequited love. And I'm feeling from your end, Capricorn, that you're no, lo no longer in love with your spouse.
And you do feel, however, that your spouse is your soulmate, but as time went on, the challenges of life kind of got in the way and you slowly started falling out of love with your spouse and you're really calling in the part of them that you miss, the, the, the soulmate that you married. You want them back. So you want the romance back in your marriage. And for those of you who are married, you do want to experience that second honeymoon with your spouse. Okay, so we have quite a few uh, scenarios coming through here. For all of you, though, this card resonates, okay? Um, for whoever this is coming through for, the angels are asking you to stay optimistic about your love life. Because through positive thinking and having faith in the connection that you're in, guys, romance will be restored. For those of you who are in that broken engagement, you really have to think positive that true love is meant to find you because it's coming through for you in the future, Capricorn. Okay, whether you're married, engaged to someone that you're not in love with, or have a broken engagement because you're missing your soulmate, True love wants to come in for you guys in the future. You just have to fix the elements of your particular situation that are not working for you. Each and every one of those scenarios is fixable. And only you, Capricorn, will know how to fix it. So if you are in an broken engagement because you weren't in love with the person because you miss your soulmate reach out to your soulmate if that's a possibility because i am picking up from the angels that they will not refuse your love they miss you too they want you back as well but someone has to take that first step and that will open up a new chapter for you guys to really enjoy the love that you were so meant to have in your life. They are your romance of a lifetime. For those who are married, I really truly feel that the issues in regard to your marriage can be fixed. Romance simply needs to be revived. And that comes with open communication and really expressing to your spouse where you're coming from Perhaps you feel neglected, unloved, and that needs to be communicated, okay? But the angels are coming through with a message here that it's not a deal breaker, okay? Just have positive faith in your connection with your spouse, and absolutely, you can once again enjoy the love that you found from the very beginning of your marriage. Those of you who are engaged and simply going through the motions of being with someone just to be with someone, even though you know they are not your soulmate, you know what you have to do in order to bring this true love into your life. You know. You know what you got to do, Capricorn. For those resonating with that particular storyline, you know exactly what you need to do. Because true love will never come for you as long as you are sacrificing yourself in a relationship that you know is not meant for you. Because ultimately you're going to end up hurting someone and you'll be hurting yourself as well. So the power of this whole situation, regardless of whatever scenario you're in, is forgiving and learning. For some of you guys, there are past hurts that you still need to deal with and you have to release and heal those hurts you need to be able to forgive the situation you need to be able to forgive your role in it you need to forgive the person for hurting you in order to move forward to stay positive to find positivity in a new chapter in your romantic life as a result of doing that this is coming for you for those who are married, okay, you cannot continue to bring forth 
elements of your marriage that no longer serve the connection. You need to forgive each other for past hurts, past arguments, past issues you guys have dealt with. Learn from that. Learn the lessons that you guys were meant to learn from those lessons. And that in turn will open up a new chapter for you guys to enjoy true love once again. So regardless of where you fall in this dynamic, forgiving and learning needs to take place. Because I, I do feel for the majority of my Capricorns, I do see a marriage, a happy future for you by way of marriage. That is how family, friends, those in your circle, this is how they're seeing the situation. That ultimately, you're going to be happy with the one you're meant to be happy with. And it's interesting how this falls into the hopes and fears, healing family issues. When this comes through, there is definitely discord in the relationship that either you, Capricorn, or the person you're connecting with, there is a discord and tension with the relationship in regards to parents. So if it is you, Capricorn, that does not either get along with your parents and or a parent or both parents are deceased and there's parts of that relationship that need healing, it's time for you to really address the situation and work on that. If it is the person that you're connecting with, they have to deal with those family issues in order to bring more or come from a more loving space in the connection that they have or will have with you. Because ultimately, guys, your outcome, you're going to end up with the one that's meant for you. Okay? This could be the one as your outcome. Your soulmate. Your twin flame. Whoever it is you are meant to be with, you will make that connection if you have not already. But there are issues here that need to be addressed. But ultimately, guys, you're going to be very happy heading into the future. And I do feel for some of you, the second half of October will absolutely shift things in that direction. For sure. So yeah, that's why this engagement card is crossing, you guys. So get real with the situation. If you are in a relationship where you're not fully in, then it's time for you to walk away. That's the only way you're going to bring about true love into your life, into your romantic life, Capricorn. But I do feel it's very important for the family issues to be healed. Your love life will absolutely benefit once that connection with a parent or parent figures, whoever is resonating with this, will improve the quality of how you interact with your soulmate, the person that you're meant to be with, the one. It will simply improve the quality of your romantic life with that connection. So continue to have faith, guys, wherever you fall in this storyline. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So don't give up, okay? Love will find you. True love will find you. But you need to get real about where you're at in this spectrum. If you're no longer in love with the person you're connecting with, it is time to walk away. Because you're not doing yourself any favors, you're not doing them any favors. It's time to walk away. And that is how you will bring about what's meant for you. The one that's meant for you. All right, Cap. All right. So let's pull some healing messages to add to this reading for you guys. Let's see what additional healing messages the angels can communicate for Capricorn. So second half of October, please, angels, please bring it forward. What messages do my Capricorns need to hear at this time? Whether related to the romance angels reading or not, what healing messages can you share with us at this time? All right, 
Capricorn. Whoa. Here we go. Please bring forth your answers. I'm gonna pull that one too. Okay. Look at that, new beginnings. New beginnings across the board, regardless of what scenario you fall into, whether you're married, whether you're in um, a broken engagement situation, or whether you're engaged to someone you no longer love. You all know what you need to do in order to bring about this new beginning. Because this new beginning will bring you your true love, guys. Okay, this new beginning will bring forth the one that's meant for you. Okay? Very good energies coming through here, guys, but you just have to do the work necessary in order to bring that about. Because look at the extra card that came through. Miracles. You've got miracles that want to come in for you, especially for some of you guys the second half of October, which is just around the corner. So welcome those miracles into your life, guys. Bottom card, here we go, forgiveness. So that's picking up off of the energies, guys, of the healing family issues that came through, okay? There has to be forgiveness there. And it's also picking up off of the energies of the forgiving and learning card that came through. This is the power of the situation. Forgiveness and learning needs to happen in order to clear out the cobwebs of where you've been to start anew. And only then will you bring about your true love and the person that's meant for you. And look at the card that was below forgiveness. Look at that. Your soulmate wants to come in. So again, no matter where you fall in the spectrum, your soulmate wants to come in for you. Okay? You've got some work to do, Capricorn, but you really have some wonderful energies coming through here, some great messages coming through. So, whoever is resonating with this, you know exactly what you got to do to bring that about. All right, guys? So let's close out your reading, Capricorn, with some angel answers, and let's see what answers the angels have for you this time around. So please clear your mind and focus on a particular question you need answered. Let's see what answers the angels have for you at this time. Angels, please bring forth your answers for Capricorn, October 16th through the 31st. Okay, guys, clear your mind. Focus. Focus on your question. Angels, please bring forth your answers. Okay. Well, for those of you needing a yes or no answer at this time, the answer is no. Okay. And the bottom card is reconsider. The angels are asking you to reconsider because there's something better for you. Um, I'm not picking up energies in relation to the reading that I just did. This is coming through as a separate message for Capricorn. So those of you who had a question that really needed a yes or no answered unrelated to romance is what the angels are telling me. The answer is no for now because they want you to reconsider as a result of bringing something better into your life. They're coming through with a message that for some of you guys, it's um, moving. You're thinking of moving somewhere and or changing jobs. Yeah, those are the two scenarios that are coming through here. And so the answer right now is no. They also just gave me a separate message for my singles who are thinking of uh, dating someone new. Okay, you've been contemplating this for a while. 
they are telling you that it's it's not a good connection Capricorn and that you should reconsider because there's someone better suited for you and remember you guys have the soulmate card that came through here okay so these answers that came through are totally separate from the romance angels spread that just came through very specific messages from the angels is what they're telling me all right guys so thank you for tuning in these are my messages for you guys the second half of october i'll be back with more readings soon thank you for tuning in and again please take advantage of instant go and the uh, angel wings promo and i'll be back with more readings guys thank you see you next time Bye bye